NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the single phase induction type energy meter concepts and its problems. The outline of the topics are first, we will discuss the basic construction and operations. Then, we will discuss the what is mean by meter concept. Third, we will discuss the problems from the single phase induction type energy meters. Finally, do it yourself. Okay. One, one by one we will discuss. First, the basic construction and operations. We know that for energy, energy means power into time. Okay. Power means voltage into current. For measurement of energy, we have to sense voltage, current and power factor. So, in this ar arrangement, it have two coils. One is current coil, it will sense the current value. Another one is pressure coil, it will sense the voltage. Okay. So, it have two electromagnet, one is sun magnet, another one is series magnet. Sun magnet means the magnetic sun flux produced in the sun magnet is proportional to the applied voltage. Okay. So, the second one is magnet is series flux. The series flux produced in the series magnet is proportional to the applied current. Okay. So, it have two fluxes, one is sand flux, another one is serious flux. Sand flux is depends upon the applied voltage, serious flux depends upon the current. Now, due to the interaction of the flux, the aluminium disc will rotate. The aluminium disc, it will rotate based on the interaction of the two fluxes. Motor action. Okay. Then, the rotations, the rotation depends on the value of voltage, current and power factor. Power factor means the angle between the voltage and current. Okay. So, the rotation depends on voltage, current and power factor. Number of rotation, number of rotation depends upon the value of voltage, current, power factor and time taken. That is called as energy. Okay. The meter, uh, when consumes energy, the disc will rotate. Based on the number of rotation, we can calculate the energy value. Okay. This is the concept. Next, we will discuss the meter constant. Meter constant means defined as the number of rotations per kilowatt hour. Okay. For example, if a meter takes 15 number of revolutions for 1 kilowatt hour, it means that meter constant is 50. It is constant for that meter. But it will varies with respect to meter to meter. In another meter, may it will take 100 number of revolutions per 1 kilowatt hour. That means that the meter constant of the meter is 100. A meter constant is constant for the particular meter, but it will vary meter to meter. Okay. So, meter constant means revolution per kilowatt hour. Number of revolutions per kilowatt hour. That means for 1 kilowatt hour, how much number of revolutions it will take? That is meter constant. Okay. Next, we will discuss the energy calculations. We know that actual energy value, power into time, voltage, current into power factor into time. Okay. This is actual energy value, but measured value, measured value by the single phase energy meter is number of revolution per number of revolution per cloud tower. Okay. You may relate number of revolution per meter constant. Number of revolution it will cancel, it will take cloud tower. Okay. If you know the number of revolution and meter constant for a particular meter, we can find the energy value. For ideal case, actual energy value is equal to measured energy value. That means no error. If the meter have errors, for error calculations, we got to find the actual value by using this formula and we got to find the measured value using this formula. This is the ideal formula, actual value. This is measured value by the meter. So, error in percentage is equal to actual minus measured by actual in the control. Okay, this is the energy calculation concepts. Now, we will discuss the problems. First questions. This question is asked in gate versus 16 electrical engineering questions. Here, the objective of the question is energy meter high meter constant of 1000 to a revolution per kilowatt hour. It makes 20 revolution in 30 seconds. For a constant load, we got to find the power load kilowatt. So, 
First, we know that measured energy value. Measured energy value formula. If you know the number of revolutions, number of revolutions is known. 20 revolutions and meter constant is known. From that, we can calculate the energy value for the meter. So, okay, substitute here. Number of revolution is 20 and meter constant is 1200. So, the energy value, measured energy value is 1 by 60 kilowatt hour. But we have to find power. So, next, what is the actual energy value? Actual energy value is equal to power into time. We have to find power value. Time is given 30 seconds. We have to convert this time seconds into hours. Okay. 3600 seconds is equal to 1 hour. 60 minutes equal to 1 hour. We have to know the conversion of seconds to hour and minutes to hour. Okay. T is equal to 30 by 3600 hours. Because in minutes, seconds is given. Okay. Next, we have to consider the meter is ideal meter. Ideal meter means actual value is equal to measured value. No error. Substitute here. The actual value is power into time. The measured value is 1 by 60. Substitute time value. Simply this equation, we can get power is equal to kilo. Next, second questions. Here we got to find error value. Okay, error times is given. So, this question in meter constant is given. Meter constant is 1800 revolution per kilowatt hour. Meter constant is 1800. Voltage, input voltage is given 230 volt, amps, 10 amps is given. Half load, half load and rated voltage. Half load means current is half. Rated voltage means voltage is 230 volt. Okay, power factor is unit is given. Number of revolutions, 8 revolutions is given, time is given. So, we have to find error at half the load. Half the load means current is half. Current is half the rated load. Okay. First, we have to find the measured value. Then, we have to find actual value. From that, we can find error. Okay. The measured value. Okay, measured value. Okay, number of revolutions. Number of revolutions is given 80. Meter constant is given 1800. Substitute here. 80 by 8800. Simply with this equation, we can get the answer as 0 0.0444 kilowatt hour. That means 44.44 watt hour. Okay. Now we got to find actual value. Actual value means power into time. Voltage into current into power factor. Okay. Voltage is given 230. Next. Current value. The meter is tested at half the load. Half the load means current is half the rated load. So I is equal to 10 by 2. Rated current is 10 amps. The meter tested at half load. Half the rated load. So I is equal to 5 amps. Okay. Power factor power factor is unity. Okay, what is this given? Current value is given, power factor is given, time value, time is equal to 138 second. We got to convert the second into hours. So we 138 divided by 3600 hour. This is time. Now substitute this values in this equation. We will get actual value. Actual value is 44.08 watt hour. Okay. Now we got to find error value. What is the value of error? Error is actual value minus measured value actually 100. Actual value is known 44.08 whatever. Measured value is known 44.44 whatever. Substitute these values. I will get this answer as minus 0.817 percentage. This is the answer. Next, do it yourself. I listed three questions. Just to pause this videos and solve these questions. Command your answers in the comment box of this videos. If you have any doubts related with the discussions, just to post your doubts in our WhatsApp group or comment box of this video. Okay, definitely you can get the clarifications. Okay. Continuously watch our channel. Definitely you can get the good knowledge and you can get the good marks in the comedy examinations. Okay, good. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment, and share.